so Bates is the only injury that we have. He's in concussion protocol. Uh, you guys saw that. Um, you know, from the onset of the week, uh, start of the week, uh, obviously made the change at offensive coordinator. Uh, was really pleased how the operation of that week went in terms of the uh, collaboration with the offensive staff um, and, the, and the players. And I think that showed today. Uh, communication during the game was great. Uh, guys are finding answers uh, to move the ball. Um, and they did a nice job of that. I thought uh, Thomas Brown uh, did a wonderful job of uh, bringing that collaboration together. And then uh, the quarterback, the quarterback Caleb, I thought played really well. Um, he played well today, played winning football. Um, the driver they had there and the completions he made to uh, put us in field goal range, um, I thought were outstanding. The two plays to Rome and then also the play to Keenan. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, real football there and, and against a division rival and uh, – did a really nice job putting us in position there. Uh, the team played complimentary football. Uh, the defense had some good stops, had a stop and downs um, in the red zone, uh, had an interception um, down there, and also uh, stopped a two-point conversion, which uh, put us in position to win the game um, at the end. Um, you know, again, in terms of the operation there from the 30, you know, we uh, ran the ball one time, uh, tried to get a few more yards uh, right there. We felt good in terms of where the kick line was. Um, the wind was not a factor today, um, and Cairo's made a bunch of those kicks um, in that inside of that range, and we feel confident in Cairo and confident in our operation there. Again, I, I got to look at the tape. I don't know exactly uh, what happened in terms of the the block, um, but uh, feel good about where that was. Um, so again, I know disappointing, and uh, yeah, we should have had a walk off uh, field goal win there, and again, that didn't happen. And we just got to look at the operation there at the very end. But I was proud of the guys, the way they battled. I thought they played good competitive football today. And, uh, you know, the guys uh, looked at each other in the eye in the, in the locker room when we broke it down. And uh, we're going to keep battling, keep fighting. And we got a division opponent coming here next week. So that's, uh, that's where it is. And uh, it takes uh, true strength and true courage, I told them. And, uh, you know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And uh, that's where it's at right now. And uh, we just got to get back to work. Uh, once we look at the tape, make the corrections, because um, there was good. Um, of course, in every performance, and there were some things we got to clean up in every performance, and we got to move uh, to the next one after we do that. So I'll take questions. Yeah, you had time to run another run play if you wanted to to set up the field goal. What was the conversation? Yeah, you know, they were loading the box there, you know, so you could you could say you could do that for sure, maybe get a couple more yards, but you also go risk, you know, um, you know, fumbling and different things there. We felt where we where we were, you know, if we at the 36 or 35, you know, you're definitely doing that because you want to get it inside there. I felt very confident uh, where we were at that time uh, with the wind and where we were on the field. Matt, you had a sense of what happened on the, the long one to Watson where Jalen kind of got tangled up. And yeah, we thought he was in good position. I mean, I got all the information I got is from the coaches. You know, I still haven't looked at the videotape, but they like got the stills and uh, they say he was really good position. That's what Jalen said. And then he just got tripped up, um, you know, and so. I threw the challenge flag because I thought the ball hit the ground um, and the hand was on the side, and that's what we challenged, um, and they saw it differently. Matt, you guys, last four weeks, I guess you said drop games in every which way possible. How do you turn that into a positive from today because you did see that progress from y'all? Yeah, there is, like I said in the, in the opener, there was a lot of positives to build from, um, and that's what you have to do. Um, you know, so the last three weeks, you know, the offense, you know, ha hadn't played the well. We hadn't played good complimentary football on defense, and we haven't done a lot of things together. Um, you know, the last three weeks. But today, today we played complimentary football. Today we did uh, do the things necessary to win the game. So I, I think it's a, a positive thing, and uh, we just got to move forward from it. You know, I know it's disappointing at the end, but uh, we have to move forward. On that fourth and two, on that fourth and two before they scored, the fourth and two before they scored, mm -hmm. how much thought did you give into going forward versus punting? Yeah, uh, fourth and three, I believe it was. Yeah, fourth and three, yeah. That time in the game where the where the score was right there, we thought punt and pin and have us play defense. I know they got the big play to Watson and so forth, and end up you know what scoring, and then we end up stopping the two point. But uh, you know that's where it was at the point, and uh, the guys did a good job, and uh, Thomas did a really good job in terms of uh, me communicating with him on those other fourth down tries when we were three for three, and I thought those were important. Uh, but again, those uh, those were impactful plays as we went, but uh, great communication all the way. Why'd you go for two at nineteen fourteen? I'll make it seven points. Yep, make it a seven-point game. Yep. 
Says. Yeah, because when you get close, I think it was at 31 seconds to go or so in the in the going into the fourth, you just you turn it into the fourth, you know. So there's a point in there where you make that decision. Um, some people would wait to the fourth, some people would do it higher than that, uh, but that's where it was. What's your sense for why the offense got unlocked the way it did? Three straight scoring drives, and it seemed like there was a flow. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, I believe uh, you know during the course of the week, the conversations of getting the ball to our skill players, um, and I think the distribution in the run game was good. Um, you know, with the runs, you know, 14 to 10, you know, with our two runners. Um, I thought Caleb did a nice job of, of taking the run lanes when they were there um, and creating, you know, some explosive plays, but also, you know, creating second and fives and those types of things too. But uh, really just about getting the hand, the ball in the hands of our skill players um, and letting them go. And you saw that with a couple, you know, things to Rome and a couple of things to DJ um, and some creative ways and being creative that way. Because uh, that's what that's what it is, you know. You put the, the ball in the hands of the of the players, of the skill players that that are really good players. A couple of them I just mentioned, and you know, Keenan and the other guys are those two. Um, you know, good things will happen, and that's how you move the ball down the field. What were your impressions of the way Caleb handled the week, and what did you see early on that said, okay, he's starting to get this, and we have something going on here? Yeah, I mean, uh, the operation during the week was really good, so the evidence was there pretty quick. Um, you know, in terms of pivoting and, you know, and moving to that direction. Um, we could see that on Wednesday, uh, the completion percentage was high. Um, same thing on Thursday, moving into Friday. Um, you know, him getting the ball out of his hands was good. The rhythm and the progressions were great. And, uh, you know, those were all evident during the course of the week. And then we saw it right away, you know, starting the game. So to me, it's, uh, that's great. You know, that, the proof is there. And the guys have a lot of juice about that, you know, during the course of the week and during the game. You know, so now it's it's about, uh, you know, everybody has this feeling inside that you lose a game like this, and it's it's a bad taste. Um, but there's also some good things, you know, and we need to use that as fuel and going forward. There's a lot of positive here, and then we just need to move uh, to the next opponent. And on, the, on, the, on the block kick again, I know you probably haven't watched it closely, but have you heard from Coach <coughs> about the way it looked like Scott got put on the ground pretty quickly? Did you hear anything about that? Have you seen that in terms of if that's a questionable – Situation. Yeah, again, I know what the rules are. You know, I know what the rules are in terms of hitting the center and all those things. And, and I, 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 again, I have to look at it. I have to look at it. Um, but I do, I asked the, the whole, you know, I asked Tori and asked Carver what about it. And they, they love the operation where it was snap, hold, kick, all that. So we just got to look at it. Now, twice in the last month, you guys have had a really heartbreaking ending to games. Uh, what percentage of your job is just making sure you hold the locker? Yeah, you know, I've said this before. I know who's in that locker room, and I know the men in the locker room, and uh, they're strong, and they're and they're they're players, you know, and they're tight, you know, in terms of their relationship. So the guys will come back and get back to work, um, you know. So there's, you know, always a resolve, um, always a respect for each other uh, to be able to come to work and uh, and get the job done. And uh, we just got to punch that ticket. What's your first question to, to Caleb? Being backed up, it's third and nineteen, game on the line, and to be able to convert and get you guys across the field. Yeah, I mean that's great. I mean that's 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 uh, real quarterbacking at a high level, you know. So and him to make that connection with the guy that he was drafted with, uh, I think is special and uh, really nice by those guys. And again, it takes protection, right? I know we took two sacks um, to start that, but again, it's about overcoming adversity, and that was on display in that drive. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Matt.